All right, so I'm finally gonna feed the birds today. I got some fruit punch soda, some crushed up Reese's, and I got two whole pieces of Reese's there just to test to see if any crows grab them. And then I got some rice, and I got sunflower seeds that I found on the ground on my bike ride on, to, on Thursday. And I got some pasta and mac and cheese, and I got some of this other stuff that I got. It was like a bowl. It was like this bowl of stuff right here that I found. I think it's like some sort of a dessert, like rice pudding or something like that. And I got pizza and pepperoni. And I also got some potato skins and a chocolate cupcake. And I got popcorn. And behind the decoy crow, I got the meat. So I got a whole bunch of meat there. But there was already a tur turkey vulture around. So I am kind of skeptical on how much I should put out, if I should put any out at all. Um, but I could kind of like decide. This whole thing is like got all this meat here. So I mean if I put the whole thing out, I mean the crows might grab it, but they might not. I'm kind of, I'm still kind of skeptical because there's a lot of meat here. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of break it up just a little bit. I mean, not that they can't carry it. It's just that I think the vultures had enough. <laughs> well, anyways, I, um, oh yeah, there was a turkey vulture outside my, I saw turkey vulture right outside my window. I was kind of circling around the decoy crowd and then once it started to get used to the surroundings a little bit, you know, it, it went for the popcorn. It ate half the popcorn that I put out last night. So there was still some left and I just simply just added more popcorn to it. Alright, and I saw crows, but they laughed as soon as I tried to open up the blind. They didn't even see my face. I just opened the blind. See? See, look, it's opened. You can't really see it, but it is slightly opened. So, I'm, I'm sorry it's been, I haven't been feeding the birds for the past few days, but I overslept yesterday because I didn't have work until late afternoon. And then the day before that, I had off and I went on bike ride, and it was just really windy, and I didn't really feel like putting a lot of popcorn if the wind's just going to blow some of the food away and the birds are going to eat it off camera so, and I wasn't sure if the birds would come anyways because it was just way too darn windy and some of the crows were already eaten over there at the soybean you know at the soybeans that are over in that field over there and there was a crow calling at the top of that tree right when I got here it's not there now but it kind of flew off into the distance over there and it it was calling from the very very tippy 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 top of that tree and um yeah it might be back but it might have been calling because either because the popcorn was here or because the soybeans over there but it was all the way over there it wasn't like close by you know but anyways i'm gonna stop talking here we go and i'm sorry um yeah i've been getting lots of good sleep oh yeah i, I better mention that i i I've been oversleeping a lot because I've wo I've been staying up to like two or three. You know, I, I like to read a lot of my YouTube messages. You know, because I do that a lot and I reply to them. And I didn't have any YouTube messages last night, so it's kind of crazy how, you know, just responding to just one person can really cut sleep out of you. I mean, and now now I realize just how terrible it really truly is. You know, and. You, I need to get in the habit of setting my alarm at a certain time. That way, if I end up getting less sleep that day, I can I can go to bed earlier the day before. Because so if I feel tired, then, you know, I'll go to sleep faster. And I had trouble going to sleep last night because I overslept yesterday. So that, that can cause um, a lot of problems when you oversleep. Because if you oversleep, you, you, you don't feel as tired that night. So that's kind of why I tend to not set my alarm and yeah, then I've got problems. So we'll, we'll go ahead and see what we get today. So here we go.
Alright, so here's the plan. I got some fruit punch, some sunflower seeds, which I found on my bike ride one day, and then I got some mac and cheese, some pasta, a chocolate cupcake, and that, you know, I also got some rice and potato skins, and then I found this cake stuff that I found in a container, this container on the ground when I was bike riding. They got chicken wings with very little meat on them. I got popcorn and then that's it. So, oh boy, I just don't know how much I should put out. I think that's it, I mean, it's gonna be a vulture here. Maybe some pro maybe it'll attract, it'll, it will attract some crows as soon as it comes. Well, there it is. It's right there. Yep, there it is. It's kind of approaching me a little bit, kind of. But I can probably say I'm just going to go ahead and start recording now. And it'll come afterwards. Yeah. Here we go.